Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Catherine K with KK Treasure Store from eBay and we're doing a unbagging today. Let me um, tell you that we're doing this one today on messed up badness and I paid $14.99 for this one. This is Karen and Debbie and for those of you that may be new to my channel let me explain that whenever I get new lots in, what I do is take them out of the shipping box or bag and put them in a container. Now, some people send them um, in baggies um, in the containers or rather in the shipping and others uh, just dump it in. But either case, this one, um, they do put it in baggies. So we've got this and we're gonna take one of these out to go through and put the other stuff over here out of the way for now as we go through that let me tell you that this is just in case you want to check them out this is their store online there is their information and they sent me a thank you card with a gift isn't that cute that is so cute. It's a um, brooch, a butterfly brooch, and I love it. It's a great tone. That is so sweet of them. Thank you so much. And we're going to put that there. How about we put that right there? That'll work. Something pretty to look at. All right, first little bag. Here we go. Okay, we have a gold tone. That's wanting to slip out of my way over there. And it looks like it's got a tag. Let's see. Oh, we don't have to enlarge that one. That says New York. And it has a uh, safety guard, just a gold home uh, necklace here. It beat it. There we go. All right, what is this one? This one looks to be tangled. Wait a minute. There we go. Oh, let's do this. Okay. We've got a uh, claw, gold home chain with little hearts. That's a cute necklace. That is a cute necklace. I'm going to put this there. Now this one. Looks like it is a spring clasp, gold home with wood beads. Wooden plastic. I think I think that's plastic and the other bead beads are wood. But then you know I'm still trying to learn this stuff, so I could be wrong. Okay, we've got gold home. What do we got here? Here we have there we go. Maybe that would make more sense. Okay. Oh how cute. Look. We got little um, flowers down here with gold tone centers. We got a white bead on a gold tone background. And it's wanting to fade in and out, not wanting to uh, film correct. We got a uh, spring clasp. And did I just see something right there? Let's see what that says. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can get that up here and enlarge so we can see it. Avon. Okay, so this is an Avon piece. And that's pretty. I like the little details they did with the flowers on the bottom. All right. And here we have Gold Tone Multi Chain. And I don't see a maker. We got a lobster claw with a gold home bar slide. And how many chains we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six chains on each side. Okay. And here we have. And these are not, these are going to take a minute to get them all straight. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. 
that right there just needs to be put in the right order. Gold Home Bar with that tasseled information there or links there and Lobster Claw. And it is signed. Let's see what it says. BR. Anybody know who BR is? If you do, please put it in the comments for me. I'm trying to learn, and with the help of all of you nice people, I'm starting to learn some of it. <laughs> all right, we have a lobster claw and another um, heart necklace. So I've got two of those. Okay. Or did I forget to put the other one over there? In either case, there that is. Okay, next bag. Okay. Now this one looks like mainly brooches and maybe earrings. So here we've got this gold tone brooch. And I don't see a maker. And we got a scarf pull. There we go. And I don't see a maker. We have another scarf pull. And that is pretty. I like filigreed things. Those are nice. And no name on there. We have a gold tone with black beads and faux pearl. Mm, no maker. We have ribbon, gold tone. And I do not see a name on there. Ooh, I like this one. We have a gold tone leaf. And let me get that in here before I stick myself. There we go. I don't see a maker. That's pretty. I like that really well. Or a lot. Not really well. I like that one a lot. Alright. We have a bracelet. And I think I had one similar to this in another bag. Um... Not sure if it was from them or someone else, but it looks like there was something on there. To me, this would have been prettier or nicer without this extra chain, and the chain would have been nice if it was just by itself. So that may get a little makeover from me. I don't know. Um, I'll have to think on that. Okay, we have a gold tone pair of pierced earrings with rhinestones. Really pretty, and of course, they always check, but like they say, sometimes you can always miss one or one can come off in shipping, but they're all there. Those are shells. Then we have a pair of screw backs with the initial T on it, gold tone, and I don't see any kind of name anywhere on those. All right, looks like, okay. There we go, we have a pair of gold tone pierced. Whoops, can't even hold them. That's neat. We have a gold tone brooch with a rope braid around with a little bit of a gold tone tassel there. Hmm, no maker. Oh, another leaf. And I like that. Kind of a brushed gold with etching in it. And that's really pretty. We have 
what looks to be um, what am I looking for here uh, tassels with the rope I, okay my words are escaping me as usual so what is this but that does look like um, you know a rope that like you put on a curtain to tie tie backs that have the tassels on them that's what that reminds me of whether that is it or not do you see something different okay and I don't see a maker on there all right we have a pendant looks like a flower petal gold tone All right, we have a gold tone wreath looking type pen. We have a heart with a red rhinestone. <coughs> yes, I still have my cough. Sorry, forgive me. And that's interesting. Let me get that closed in. There we go. That's pretty. Alright, now we have a ring. I believe these are called eternity rings or something like that. What is that called? Infinite. And looks like all stones are there. Let's see. another ring and this one has a pink stone and it has clear rhinestones on the side let's see is anything on the inside there written no oh that's got to be at least a size eight there because it's really big on me at least an eight maybe an eight and a half not sure, but that is pretty. Alright, let's do another bag. Okay. We have gold tone loops and these that we're trying to hang on to them is what come on now it's hooked on to itself there we go we have fish hook leaves Boy, those shine, don't they? Lots of movement and sound comes from those. All right, we have a pair of screw back. Gold tone with a kind of a brushed look to it. Let's see if we see anything on the backs. Yes, there's something on that one. Hang on. Listener. This is a pair of listeners. Alright, we have a gold tone box spring. And it has something on it. Hang on, let's see what it says. Hang on. Sarah Coventry. So this one is Sarah Coventry, a bracelet. Okay, we have a gold tone chain with a pendant that can also be 
a brooch. Now that kind of looks like an anchor. What does that look like to you though? I'm I'm on the fence on this one. I don't know what to say that is. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like from the side. Huh. No idea. What do you see when you look at this? Alright. And it is a lobster claw and it does have a tag Monet okay Angie since you're a big Monet person what is this what is that <laughs> let me know <laughs> oh goodness all right there we go it's a necklace all right then we have a pair of pierced gold tone box weave type earrings. We have a necklace with a upside down pyramid. <laughs> like this it's a pyramid. What do you call it when it's upside down? Is there a name for an upside down pyramid? I don't know. Let me know if you know. Gold tone chain. And lobster claw. All right, we have a pair of. Oh, these are cute. Pierced earrings with hearts. And the hearts are upside down when you're wearing them. You'd think they had turned it that way. But they didn't. That's interesting. All right, we have a gold tone. Let's see, what have we got here? There we are. It is a spring clasp. I don't see a maker on there. And a long chain. And, of course, right now we got something. There we go. And now we got something down here. There we go. Alright, let me get it up here so that you can kind of see what this looks like. It's interesting. Nope, don't you fold up on me. Okay, we have a pair that has been put together so they don't come up. Oh, nope, it's not put together. They were just sticking to each other. Uh, pierced earring. My little gold home balls here. Drop your rings. Right, we have this pair of swirl earrings, gold home. Oops. Is that something written there? Hang on, I'm going to look. Yes. Monet. <laughs> It's upside down, but it's a Monet pair. So I've got two pair of Monets in there. Hmm. All right. We have a, a gold tone here with spring clasp. And I can't tell if that's a mark or not. So hang on. We're going to go in and look. What does that say? Can you see it? Uh, it says something. Let's turn it this way and see if it makes more sense. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry. Whoa, where am I? Got to come down. Got to come down and find me. There we go.
looks like is that M I R E? Can you make that out? Cause I'm, or is that D I R? I I don't know. And my eyes are so bad. Those of you that know me, my eyes are so bad that I really can't tell. But that's what it is. And if you could read that and know what it is, please put it in the comments for me. Thank you. All right, we've got a ring with multicolor stones on there. Ooh, that's a small ring, too. That's a really small ring. Looks like somebody took two when they made it and put them together. I don't see it. Well, wait a minute. I just lied. There is something on the inside. Oh, it says 14 carat GE. What does the GE mean? 14 carat GE. Somebody let me know because I certainly don't know. So we found some gold there. All right. We've got spring clasp. Just a little necklace. All right. We have a small gold tone bracelet with a spring clasp and a tag. Let's see what the tag says. Hang on. Oops, I gotta turn it. Let's see. Come on. All right, it's not working with me. It's wanting to turn every way but the way I want it to. And now I got it upside down. All right. One more time. Accents by was that H Hal or or and now I can, I'm, I'm afraid to turn it again because I'm going to lose it. If you could read that, please let me know. I have no idea what that said. It's so irritating when your eyes, you know, when you grow old, of course, you're going to start having things go. But it's, I'm not blind, but things are just not showing like they're supposed to. Okay, we got a gold tone bracelet with a faux pearl. And it looks like one came off. It did have two, but one came off. But you know what? I've got another one the same size. I can just put that right back in there. So that's a repair one. Okay. Here we go. We got lobster claw, gold tongue bracelet, and another tag. Let's see. Hang on. <laughs> Monet. Got a Monet. Monet bracelets. That's what, three? Maybe four? Let me tell y'all, this is the first time that I recall ever getting anything from uh, this um, person, uh, persons that had a stone or anything missing on it or anything like that that I recall. So I'm not at all upset. Okay, this is the last bag. Here we go. We have a bangle bracelet. It's got rhinestones and they are all there. I do not see anything on the inside. Looks like um, gold tone. That is so pretty.
That is really, really pretty. All right, we have a cuff bracelet, of course, in gold tones. And I see nothing on the inside, but that is pretty. Okay, we have a fold over clasp with this. That is gorgeous. I love this piece. Oh, wait a minute. Something's on the back of this one. And probably just turned it upside down. I don't know, but let's see. Hang on. Trafari. Upside down. But I could read that one. That one said Trafari. Gorgeous. Well, it also said it on the back. Uh, it's funny, I saw it on the class, but I didn't see it on the back of the pendant area. Okay, we got a gold hem with smoke color beads here that of course it doesn't want to turn straight for me. There we go. Those are really pretty. Gold tone. Lobster claw. And looks like there was a um, tag but it has come off. So if you recognize this piece as somebody that you know, let me know, please. And there it is, all twisted up again. Okay, well, oh, ooh, this thing's heavy. I got a gold tone. Fold over. Clasp, no maker. But we have this. And that is heavy. That is heavy. Okay. Oh, how pretty. See the insides, the inlays inside there? That is pretty on a gold tone. Toggle. And no maker. But I like that. That's different looking. Gold tone chain necklace. Lobster claw. And a tag. Let's see if I can get it up here. Monet. Oh. Hey, Angie. I've gotten like four or five pieces of Monet in this one. In case you're wondering, our friend Angie, she likes Monet. Alright, we got a stretch rope and clear link bracelet with rhinestones. Oh, those are pretty. Okay, we've got a gold tone. Um, is that called a snake necklace? Spring clasp, no maker, shell, sliding shell. That's pretty. That's simple. This is the kind of thing I like. Simple. <laughs> Alright. We have a lobster claw with gold home spikes. That's an interesting look. And a gold home chain. Spring clasp with this. And that's interesting. I don't know what to call it. 
but that is pretty. Okay, that is everything, and I thoroughly enjoy it going through things that I get from them. I always know I'm going to find good things. Again, this is Messed Up Madness, um, Karen and Debbie, and one more time, just in case you didn't get it, if you'd like to visit their online store, there is their information. And um, if you're new to my channel and would like, please consider subscribing to help me grow my channel. Be sure and hit the bell for notification of future videos. Um, and if you have a YouTube channel that you would like to share the information with us, please do so in the comments. I like to try and support other YouTubers. Also, um, I'll be getting another one up, another video up, probably in about two days. So be sure and join us then. Everyone have a blessed day, and I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video.